Denim jeans, they're not particularly very breathable or even comfortable and one wash can ruin the whole appearance. So why do people love these things? As you can tell from the title, I'm not really a big fan of these things, but I still have plenty in my wardrobe as you can see, and I still very much wear them. So I wanna bring up a discussion on why we all own a pair of these things and love them, but also my arguments for why I haven't really touched these that much in the past few years. I recently did a poll on my Instagram at flywithjohnnytai, go check it out. And I asked y'all what were your favorite pants to wear for your outfits? And to no surprise, an overwhelming majority was denim jeans. Of course, this is to be expected as denim jeans originated all the way back in the 1800s by Levi's and was originally made for hard manual labor and ever since then it's been ingrained in American culture that has spread all across the world from movies, celebrities, and better trading opportunities. And nowadays, if you hop on YouTube, just watch any fashion YouTuber, denim jeans are gonna be recommended as an essential. Black denim, light wash denim, I've said it myself. So there you go, first reason why they are culturally loved e-commerce and better trade have contributed to its popularity. Another reason why people love denim is because of how versatile it is. And there's not really an argument here. Denim at any wash can go with pretty much anything and any style. These things last forever, they age well if not washed too much, and are always relevant in fashion. Plus, there's various cuts for any body type, any gender reaching the masses. You could throw them on with boots, it's gonna look great. Throw them on with some J's or white leather sneakers, they look great as well. It doesn't matter if you're into business attire, the grunge or punk aesthetic, if you skate, if you ride horses or farm, denim jeans is always a go-to. Plus, these things are cheap as hell. Every brand, every clothing store is going to carry one of these, and that is what I believe to be the reasons why people love these things. And for good reason. I can agree to it. I'm sure you guys can agree to it. So here's why I personally haven't been wearing it for a long while. You can just scroll through my Instagram and see that I don't really wear them too much and haven't for a few years, and maybe you can agree to some of my arguments. So first off, these things, they suck to wear for a long time. I don't care if they're stretched, it does help a little bit, but there's just something about it. Probably because these aren't very breathable when it's hot, and when it's cold, it's not very insulating either. And they do have some weight to it, making them a little bit heavier than your average pair of pants. And if it starts pouring and these get wet, they are impossible to take off, and they take a long time to dry. Also, I gotta be honest, my leg hairs, <laughs> they sometimes get caught in between the threading, it's not very pleasant. Another reason, like I said earlier, is one wash can absolutely ruin the appearance of your denim and it can end up in the rest of your clothes. If these somehow end up in the washer, you pretty much have a new pair of denim with a different wash and they probably shrink as well. It's not very fun. Because when you don't wash denim, and I have never washed any of my denim, they stink. So that's where a freezer and a bag comes in. Those are going to be your best friends. All you gotta do is pot them in the freezer for an hour or so and it's gonna kill the bacteria stink. I know I'm not the only one. I think of it like owning a cast iron pan or a wok. You constantly have to season them to keep them non-stick. You can't really use acids in them or you'll chip the patina. These, like denim, require a lot of love and attention. Oh, and by the way, for those of you guys thinking, ew, that's gross, hey, I've got a lot of pair of pants. So my denim, they get maybe a few wears a month. It's like having a lot of sneakers. They get worn, but not daily. So they last a longer time. And another thing that I actually really hate about denim is that the ink can bleed. I mean, there's a reason why I don't own any pair of dark wash denim or raw denim. I wear a lot of lighter colored sneakers, so if it's a raw denim, that wash is gonna end up on your socks, your white sneakers, or even your white shirt if you're wearing that. So to compensate for that, I always have to wear dark denim with that, and I don't really like that, so I don't own any of them. And those are my main issues with the denim itself and how it was designed. But now these are personal nuances catered towards me that maybe some of you guys can agree with. And I think for denim, there's not very much variety. You can't really change the look of denim. All denim is made and designed pretty much alike. Rivet, belt loops, standard pockets, leather patchwork. The only thing you can change is the wash, the cut, and the rise of it. Which kind of makes sense. I wouldn't really want to change a classic look either. But when people do, you can get some wild ones that sometimes can look pretty good, but aren't really my taste. Like double knee denim is cool, some patch denim is pretty cool as well, and maybe some distressing can be tasteful. But other than that, pretty much everyone has the same pair of pants. Therefore, making them have less appeal, which I know you really shouldn't care too much about if other people have the same clothes as you. Next up, I just think there are so much better options. Like I said, if you're caught in a storm and it's pouring rain, good luck taking them off if they're soaked. And that's where performance pants comes in. These pants from 511 Tactical have a somewhat similar design to denim, but they repel water, 
flatter, they're breathable and stretchy, and especially with the black versions, they look pretty much like denim, but you get all these other benefits while being a lighter weight material as well. And another better option for pants in general is cargo pants. Now with those, you can hit a variety of unique looks that can add to the look of your outfit. And the rise of cargo pants can probably be attributed to Travis, but I felt like it was gonna happen anyways. These Nike SB cargo pants are way more comfortable and breathable, plus you get a unique brown wash that you can't really match with denim. And these Nike Lab ACG cargos, they have a DWR coating making them water resistant. And the pockets are modular so you can switch up the look of these pants. And I can go on and on and on about other alternatives. There's just way more variety out there. Like, I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's a pretty small state in terms of population and I love it, but I never really traveled out of state until I was a lot older and then I got to realize how much I was missing. Different cultures, lifestyles, slang, food, etc. That's like pants right now. Denim is home, classic, comfortable, can never really let go of it and you love it, but you can always pick up your bags and move to try something else. And as always, you can still visit home whenever you want outside of this pandemic, which is actually another reason why I haven't really been wearing denim. Don't get me wrong, I still love denim. It might seem like this video is all about shitting on denim. I just wanted to bring up this discussion because there are flaws with pieces. Nobody really talks about that. And while I'm not really a fan of denim at this moment in time, I can still love them and I can still appreciate them. And they will still get a wear every once in a while. But what I would encourage you guys to do is to keep more of an open mind when it comes to any clothing garments. Just because you genuinely like a piece and somebody else doesn't, doesn't mean you are wrong and that you should change your opinion. That would be ridiculous and you would find yourself just following what other people like instead of you curating your own opinions about something. Which is what makes you, you. Someone that can generate their own thoughts and opinions. Oh, and I know some of you guys would be asking about this necklace right here. This is the minimal bar necklace from Rose Gold and Black, who I will now thank for sponsoring this video. So Rose Gold and Black is the best place to start off with if you are new to jewelry. I always recommend them to my friends because there's something for everyone. They have beaded bracelets, all the way down to sterling silver cuban chains you're definitely going to find something that you like personally i really dig all their minimal designs this one right here is their sterling silver odyssey necklace it's got a simple sleek and clean design that makes it super versatile i can rock it with pretty much any fit and it's going to really elevate it now this one is a bit pricey but fortunately they do have a stainless steel version that is a lot cheaper and you get the same look which is what i'd recommend if you guys are starting out but the minimal bar necklace is always a go-to it's going to suit anyone and is by far my favorite i wear them all all the time so definitely check out the link in the description and pick up one of rose gold and black's minimal necklaces that link is going to take you to my special landing page where a ton of items are going to be heavily discounted plus they are currently doing a holiday sale at up to 25 percent off to kick off 2021 and if you enter the code vibe 15 you will get an additional 15 percent off saving even more money so go ahead and treat yourself check them out and i appreciate you guys for always supporting the sponsors and as always Thank you, Rose Gold and Black, for sponsoring today's video. So that is why we all love these pants, but also why I haven't really been wearing them all that much. I'm sure some of you guys may feel the same, and if you are a hardcore denim person, I just say try out some other things, try out new pants, you'll never know what you actually like. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found it insightful. Follow me on Instagram at Ty and subscribe.